Okay, C. Lindelof videos, AP calculus, particle motion. This is a really interesting question. We, they give us this p uh, position function, x of t is equal to 4t cubed minus 3t squared, where t is greater than 0. And they say, on what interval or intervals is the particle's position left of 0? So I did a couple of things, and I think I actually overthought it a little bit, but I wanted to be sure. The first thing I said is, when is the particle, when is the particle, when is x of t equal to 0? So I factored this thing out, and I got t squared minus 4t minus 3 is equal to 0. I got t equals 0, t equals 3 fourths. So those are the two times where the particle's position are 0. And I just want to do a quick test just to make sure which way the particle was moving initially. So I did take... The first derivative, and I said, okay, the first derivative of position is velocity, and that would be 12t squared minus 6t. And I want to know when that's equal to 0. I factored out 6t, and I got 2t minus 1 is equal to 0. And I was like, all right, t is 0, t is 1 half. And then I took just took a quick look, because I want to see what's happening in that one in that initial time so I know that if this is t and this is v of t I know that in the first at time is zero velocity is zero but right and I know at time is one half velocity is zero but what about at one something in between I chose one fourth and I, so I took v of one fourth and I got that it was negative that made me happy I was like you know what this, uh, my particles moving left my particle is moving left. It's going to go left for one half of a second. But remember, our little guy, is, this is what, so this is what's going to happen with our little guy. Here's our little guy. This is our little guy, right? This is our little particle guy. So our little particle guy is going to do this. One half, right? Our little particle guy is going to do this. He's going to go from here. And for the first half second, he's going to go to the left. So he's left that whole time. But then, look, if he moves just a part of a second after that, right, he starts moving back, but he doesn't get back instantaneously. So I'm like, how long does it take him? I know it takes him one half second to get from here to here. Now my question is, how much time? Because his speed, his, I'm sorry, his velocity can change. So I don't know what, what his rate of change is here. So I'm like, okay, is, it gonna, if it, is this one half second? It takes him a half second to get back for a whole second. How long does that take? But I know that he only changes directions at, z at zero and one half. So at zero, and there is no negative back, no negative time, so I have to worry about that. So I look at this and I realize, you know what, this little guy starts here at zero. He moves left for the first half second, but then he still has to make his way back. And I'm like, how long did that take? So what I realized quickly was this. That whole time that he's to the left is one singular interval. Right, because he doesn't change directions enough. He can't change directions more times than that. So I know that our little guy is left is left of zero uh, of sorry zero for t is greater than zero and less than three fourths. So all I really needed, as it turns out, was to check the velo was to check the position function. But it was smart, I think, to check velocity to make sure that he wasn't going back and forth. Uh, it should have revealed really quickly that that was the answer. So hope that that's the answer you got. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Thanks.